problem I don't know what to do about it. Um, aside from all of, no, in addition to all of the other problems that I have, it's just that I don't know, I don't know what it's going to take to convince the conglomerate and also Robert Pattinson that I am, I am not messing around. I am not messing around about what he's doing, right? I mean, I, I truly, I truly dislike him more every day, every day that that thing stays at his Instagram profile. You know, I, I, I am, I am angrier. I hate him more. And it's just, I, I, I am not messing around about that. And I don't know, I don't know what to do. I don't really know what to do because the conglomerate ignores everything I say, says that it doesn't matter. And I, I think there's a, there's another side to it too, where it's like, um, the conglomerate likes to, likes to try to make it seem like every, everyone has the right. Every, everyone has the right to abuse me. Everyone has the right to do whatever they want, right? And there's something about that. How am I going to talk about this? The question of consent. The question of consent is something that the conglomerate like, likes to likes to ignore a lot. It really likes to ignore that. Um, uh, let's see. So how, how am I going to talk about this? It's kind it's kind of it's kind of an important thing to describe the right way and talk about it in a way that's that sort of like brings out the issue so that people can understand it. Um, there's kind of a continuum in terms of abuse, how abuse works from being mean to somebody verbally all the way up to killing somebody. You know, and you can, you can consent to all of it if you want to, right? I mean, I, you, you can. Uh, <laughs> in one way or another, you can do that. It doesn't make it right what the other person is doing. But if I, for example, had a friend that um, was verbally abusive to me, and I tolerated it in, 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 one, in one way or another, either not realizing it, or either not, really, not realizing the person was abusive, or there were other things about them that I liked, and so I wanted, to, I wanted them to stay my friend. Um, this, per this, this person just drove up the street and then like drove backwards up the street. Um, I would have the right to do that. And it, would, and it would not mean that it was therefore all right for everyone else who felt like verbally abusing me to do that. You see what I mean? So the, con the conglomerate likes to take the things that I um, say or do to be nice to people who are not treating me well, um, to try to make it seem like anyone, anyone who's ever abusive to me isn't doing anything wrong, and I don't really mean it, you know, when I say leave me alone, and even if I do mean it, it doesn't matter because look how I treat these other people, right? And you, do, you, you, just, you just don't have, you don't have the right to treat me that way, right? I mean, it's like I've, I've said, I don't want people to hack my phone, I don't, I don't want people to hack my phone, but I, can't, but I cannot make it stop, right? I've said, please don't treat me like this. And I, there's all sorts of people that I, that I can't stop from treating me like that. And the question, the question, there's there's always this question of like, when someone is being abused, you know, the idea of like, what is it, what is it that the target of the abuse should do to stop the abuse? Well, the answer is the only person who can stop the abuser is the abuser, right? You treat me this way not because of something that I've done, but because th this is how you want to behave. It, the, the burden is on you. The burden is on you to stop and to stop encouraging it not on me to try to find some way to convince you that I don't deserve it because nobody could deserve it. 